So how how'd the two of you become uh, comics? How how the whole career start? You just both had the same vision and yeah, kind of. We both were like, we love this. We were comedy nerds back in the eighties. It's so funny. I remember watching. I just watched with my twelve year old daughter Seinfeld's latest special on Netflix, and he basically goes back and revisits all his comedy leading up to it. And we were huge Seinfeld fans in the early 80s, before he had his show. And we felt like, oh, my God, nobody's going to know who this guy is. We felt so bad for Seinfeld. We're like, he's amazing, and people just won't know about him. It's a shame. And, of course, he goes on to be one of the most famous people ever. But, like, the idea was we would watch so much comedy, and we thought it was so great. And then in high school, there was, like, a talent show. We decided, all right, let's, at our high school, it's about 300 kids. We both love stand-up. It wasn't even a question. We're like, let's just go on stage together and, and do it, because we both love it. We did it, and we and we did all right. I mean, and I, I kind of like the fact that we had a little bit of a team mentality going, which was share the load here. Let's use each other. Let's listen to each other on stage. It's going to be different. We're twins. Not a lot of twins. We'd never seen any twins. I mean, I think there it used to be all comedy things back in the 60s and 70s, you know, Rowan and Martin, you know, laughing yeah, right. and Mar- Marlon Lewis and Abbott and Costello. And you think about all the classic teams, but that kind of went away in the 80s. And we were like, well, look, there's no there's no teams out there. There's definitely no twins out there. Let's see if we can give it a shot. And we and we did it. And then when we came to Michigan as students, 90, 94, that's when we were at Michigan, we started, we, we created a show in the union uh, where we brought comedians in and we hosted that show. We performed in Ann Arbor. We performed in Detroit at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle. And we just worked on our comedy. But we didn't have anyone in our family who who had done it. So we didn't even know it was a possibility to be to do it as a career. We just, it was a dream of ours. But then we just kept working at it, and then we moved to New York after Michigan and started doing it in New York, and we got lucky. And uh, But that was definitely a great moment to tell our parents afterwards, hey, we're not going to go to law school like we both <laughs> got in. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a job we could have done out of high school. But thanks for paying, thanks for, for, paying for college. <laughs> we felt terrible. <laughs>